Tikolo Our prayer is that we take the challenge. 
to restore God's original intent to restore his purpose to be the people that he can trust to bring back his purpose in this session we are going to be talking about how to tune back to godliness. How to tune into godliness or how to go back to godliness. Genesis 1 verse 26 to 28. And then verse 31. Genesis 1, 1, 26 to 28 and 31. And then Matthew 17, 11 up to 13. 17, sorry. 17. Verses 11 up to 13. See, verses 11, we are going to in a tattoo. Tuning into godliness. Genesis 1, 26 to 28, 31, and then Matthew 17, 11 to 13, if you are there. You're welcome to read for us. Genesis 1, 26 to 28. Genesis. Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air and over the cattle over all the earth and over every living thing that creeps on the earth to the to the seven. so God created man in his own image in the image of God he created him male and female he created them then God blessed them and said be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. That's one. Then God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Hallelujah. Matthew 17, 11 to 13. Jesus answered and said to them, Indeed, Elijah is coming first and will restore all things. 12. But I say to you that Elijah has come already. And they did not know him, but did to him whatever they wished. Likewise, the Son of Man is also about to suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he spoke to them of John the Baptist. Isla calling the Nayapo of seven and Shaben is ruined in Anna Pants of Shaba. There was okay with Nele Lamuso, Box seven away, Zila Po. Nanam Shanje, Abukonda, one of Nele Lamuyo, Gaman Shae, Zila Po, Abukondo, Omanamanja, Owe Transformer. Guess we love. Vela muwe pefu lelo muwe. Alpindele muwe na wenza na umsebenz. Si atochi swala kulekse ni na namshanj. Uwa zuguta mafeni mizetu. 
Aweko outside ya manja ezu na kubu restore your original intent yako. A spiritual leadership. Kuna manja usku isele na weni yako. Shalo yetu ezu eni na mabusi na maholi bezu. Parati wonke. Kuna manja usku isele njomo yako ngabo. Kuna manja usku isele imanji. Kulbuisele njomo eni yako. Kuna manja usku isele nati. Spuisele mpepo uso skaleleyo na ngamunye na ngamunye. Se toba na manje. Si pea manja. Oguchuna intu. I wavelength. Yako kulu kulu wetu. Gekama liga Jesu Christi kosi yetu. Amen. May we once again thank God who has been very good to us. And the continued great hospitality we are enjoying amongst the family of God. And then come to the subject at hand. We believe it was a time like this. When our father Baba Bengu, God came down to him. There were churches at the time. There were great preachers at the time. There were leaders of churches at the time. But something was not in line with God's original intent. God found an opportune moment when our father was left alone in his house one night. A night when all his family members were sick and had been taken to hospital. He had come from abroad and returned home because the family was very sick and had to abandon studies. There was also a painful scenario in the political climate. There was a clear change in the direction the country was going. From a leader who seemed to have a heart for the blacks, who had lost the elections and died. And after that, the one who had come into power clearly was going to cause the situation, the livelihood of our people to go down even lower. In his situation they are sick is taking them to hospital but that was not his great worry his great worry was the direction the country was going to go in and the ultimate future it was when he was alone in the house as his heart because of what had happened, that the Lord came through to him.
was pacing the house up, up and down. Why is it one A kitchy kitchy man for me. Sign the words, pray to God, pray to God, pray to God. That's what the master to the square of If you want to count, you can count. In verse 26, then God said, Verse 26, Utiko ke what? Not a human gathering. I in Shanga Niso Yabantu. Not science, not intelligence, not evolution. Then God said, I
very good. Come to where we are today. Look at the world we are in. It is said in one family. A father came from work tired one, one day. He wanted to, he, his normal practice was that when he arrives at home, he would play with the son, the young son. As he was about to play with his son this day, and the son is ready for the play with the father, but the father is so exhausted and tired. Very quickly he thought in himself, what am I going to do to keep the boy away? In a very diplomatic way. Very quickly he saw in the newspaper he was carrying. On one page, there was the map of the whole so he decided Son, go get me a pair of scissors When the pair of scissors was brought He chopped it to pieces The map of the world And then he gave it to the son And he said As soon as you can put this map of the world According to him, this will keep the boy away playing with something. Sooner than he knew it, the boy was there. And the world, the map of the world was in good order. The father was stunned. What was he going to do now? And then he asked the boy, But tell me before we go and play, what made you to be too quick, so quick in putting this map of the world together? And the boy said, You know what, Dad? The world was too complicated for me to put together. I tried, I failed. But all I looked on the other side of the papers that were cut. It looked like there was the photo of a man who is cut. So I decided to put the men together. is to lead the man back to God's purpose for his life. Then the world will come together. When we look at our world today, our world without God, it has three main problems. Problem number one of the world is man or human centeredness instead of God at the 